Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. God first. God first. My God, my God. Praise God, praise God. Well, y'all already know. Y'all come back up in here. Y'all already know. Mm -mm -mm. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Praise God, praise God. So y'all know they cut me off, right? I mean, they just, it went black. I said, oh, you, so y'all already know. <laughs> they don't like when that anointing is going through the airwaves. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But they just don't know. I got something that I, I, I'm, I'm going to switch it up. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that everybody that listened to this video that you are restored, that you are revived, that God will make you thrive like never before in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that he will touch you, that he will anoint you, that he will appoint you like never before. May the fire of the Holy Ghost be transferred. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. May the power of God hit you right where you at. Come on somebody, hallelujah. You will never be the same again. Oh, come on somebody. He's stirring it up. He's stirring it up. He's stirring it up. That's why you've been through what you got to go through. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you're losing friends. That's why you're losing family. That's why you're going through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because the anointing, you got to be crushed, honey. You got to be crushed. Because guess what? God wanted heavy or nothing at all. Come on, somebody. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That he touched you in deep. I'm talking about in the deep places. It's time. It's time out for surface Christians. It's time. He don't want that no more. He's ready for some 12 walking apostles that turned the world upside down. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. Heavy anointing. Heavy. Like never before in the name of Jesus. Touch him, God. Touch him. Touch him. Everybody that's, you know, need a healing. Need deliverance of anything. Come on, somebody. Because he can heal you of everything. Anything. Anyone. You don't hear me. Because some of y'all are addicted to people. You heard what I said. Hallelujah. So I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so like never before. God, do what you got to do, God. Use me, Father God. Use me as a vessel, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. It's still powerful. The blood is still powerful. The blood will heal you. The blood will deliver you. The blood will sanctify you the blood of move you the blood the blood the blood hallelujah to his name i decree and declare to be so hallelujah glory 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 in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord let me tell y'all something right now it is time because god is waking people up in this hour like never before god is touching people like never before i'm talking about that's why you going through it you will not be the same because you cannot remain the same not in this last hour let me tell y'all it is very 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 scary in this last hour and i'm not talking about the elite they're gonna do what they're gonna do i'm talking about serving god god is has has actually went back y'all don't hear what i'm saying god is dimensional god is not traditional god is looking for who's real who's not gonna play with his people who's not gonna steal from his people who's not gonna lie to his people come on somebody god is looking for somebody that carry the holy ghost He's looking for the carriers in this hour. Somebody write that. Somebody write that. He's looking for the carriers in this hour like never before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, you know, they cut me off. They froze me. They did everything because they know. They know about that anointing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, I pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to be strong in the Lord. Cover your eyes, your ears. Gird them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with God. Talk with God. Start your day off with God like never before. Serve God. If you make a mistake, say, God, I'm sorry. I repent. Rectify me. Restore me, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's time to be real with people and God. Come on, somebody. It's time to forgive people, too. There's a lot of you, y'all hold on to stuff. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad. That ain't going to do you no good. That's why That's why you going through what you going through. Holding people in bondage and then being angry. Some of y'all so angry and just, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I feel I got a flow in the Holy Ghost. I can't stand being around people with a nasty attitude. I don't care if it's low, low, high, high. I can't stand it. And sooner or later, if you're around me with it, I'm going to tell you something. Be like, oh, honey, you need deliverance. I love you, but you need deliverance. I need to start being real with people. You ain't got to be ugly. Be real. You need deliverance. You angry. You hurt. And hurting people hurt people. Angry people, you're hurting. 
I don't care what you say. Some something happened and you won't let go. And and actually, it's a form of pride. I can't believe God allowed this. I can't believe they did this. And God, no, 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 no. You got it right now. Thank you, Lord. God wants to give us healing like never before. Can I tell you something? What people are doing in churches? They take you to the altar or even through here. They say, okay, you're saved. Don't y'all know that people cannot truly be saved unless they truly healed? <laughs> Honey, you can't get saved unless you healed. Because I promise you, you will go back to doing what you used to do. Because you was never healed. And when you're not healed, you can't truly be saved. And if you're not truly saved, God can't really deliver you. Because guess what? You got too much stuff. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God has to break up that stuff. What am I saying? It's time. It's time for you to stop. Stop just piling on medication. What kind of medication? Or oh, it could be any kind of medication. It could be church. Did you know you could use church as the medication? I'm okay. I'm okay. And when you get home, you're cussing, you're fussing, you're doing everything else. Medicated. Medication is not always not the medication that you think it is. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Some of you go to church, and, and I mean, that's your antidote. When you're at church, I mean, you're skipping around. Hallelujah. You're doing everything. But soon as you get home, that's when the real stuff starts. Stop medicating yourself, God. And, and God, God say, he said, stop medicating yourself and let him heal you and deliver you. But first healing. So I pray that you understand exactly what I'm saying tonight. A lot of people are not healed. That's why they act the way they do. And that's why they do what they do. They're hurting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, let's go even deeper. I'm getting ready to do a conference, believe it or not. Even if it's a virtual conference, whatever it takes. And I don't want to say the name of it right now, but I'm putting it together. When God spoke this to my spirit the other day, I was like, God, that's it. So many people are hurting. That's all I can tell y'all. And praise ain't going to do it. Y'all ain't ready for me. Reading the Bible ain't going to do it. Y'all ain't ready for me. You must be healed. And how can you be healed unless Jesus touch your spirit? Come on, somebody. Let's talk to me for real up in here tonight. You can drink. You can have sex. You can do all that stuff. That's just temporary. The only way a, truly, a person can truly be healed if the Son of God touch their spirit. Other than that, it's not real. I'm sorry, it's not real. It's a fraud. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So, I pray in the name of Jesus, y'all really understand. Because I, I know I was like hitting them and hitting them and sticking them. Because the Holy Ghost was just gone. God ain't looking for no, see... <laughs> They, they messed us up with their prosperity message. They really did. Because now people think because they're prosperous, they're anointed. Ooh, did I just say it? Honey, I don't care how much money they got. If they ain't got no anointing, and I'm not talking about anointment. If they ain't got no anointing, they ain't got no anointing. And I'm sorry to tell you, the world love its own. Mm, y'all ain't ready for me. And I'm going to be transparent on purpose because y'all need that. When I was in L.A., Hollywood, and I was really trying. I'm going I'm to be, I'm be honest with y'all. I was really trying to be like, I guess, a star or whatever. I don't know. I guess that's what it was. And God kept telling me. He said, Deanna, look at them for real. And I'm going to tell y'all the same thing. Look at everybody that's up there for real. Don't play games now. Look for real with your spiritual eyes. Are they anointed for real? Don't play with me. Don't play with me because singing don't make you anointed. Preaching don't make you anointed. It's if you can heal and deliver. Hallelujah. God's people. I don't want to hear that stuff. I don't want to hear that. Well, what, they, they got millions and, and then everybody know them. They're on TV. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. But can they heal anybody? So when God told me the difference, I said, God, I just want to be used by you. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And if somebody says something about them, the first thing y'all say, or they jealous of what they have, no anointing. Now, they started off anointed. I just said something. And the enemy just, y'all ain't ready for me. That's how the enemy does, people. He, he, is, he, he, he dangles that carrot. Whatever you like. He did the same thing he did to Jesus. If you fall down and worship me, I, I give you what you want. My question tonight is, what did you really want besides God? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to talk about the truth, though. We just see him on TV, talking about, <laughs> ain't no anointing. I'm sorry. I just tell it like a real T.I. is. So, 
that's it. That's all God wanted me to say. I know it was a lot, right? And a sharp movement. But it had to be powerful because guess what? They cut me off. I'm looking. It was nothing but blackness. I said, oh, my God. They didn't cut me off. They didn't cut me off in a long time. Uh-oh. I don't know what that means at all. That anointing it fell upon me heavy again. Whenever it get heavy, 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 they always start acting crazy. All right, y'all. I'm going to get up off of here. Whew. I feel like I didn't preach for an hour. God bless you. God keep you. I'm telling y'all right now, stay, 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 stay on the wall. Don't give up. Don't give out. Stay with God. Don't don't let nobody. I'm telling you. I don't know why I got to say this. Quit letting people fool you. Please, women, stop being desperate for men. Men, stop being desperate for women. Wait on God in everything, even in friendships. Everybody can't handle your anointing. Everybody can't handle who you are. Y'all think it's a game? I could tell y'all that. You ain't doing them nothing, they be acting crazy, and you be like, oh, they can't handle it. But I'm going to tell you the, one last thing before I get off of here. You know what it really is? And that's why one of the first things I asked God for, well, actually, He delivered, I ain't asking. It was from people. Y'all don't understand how I used to be. Like, I was a party girl before I got saved. I mean, I couldn't get a hotel room, and I promise you have 100 people there. That's how I parted. So I used to have everybody around me all the time, acting like I was all that, right? So when I became apostle and people was, I was repelling people. They were, they, they were like, they're going crazy. I I went through a hard time for two years. I was like, God, nobody likes me. I said, Dan, you got to get, you're going to have to get over people. I said, they don't love me. They don't like me no more. I mean, I had two years. I had to, and, and so what I did is I started getting closer to God. I started getting closer to God. And I said, God, I got this thing. I get it. Whether they stay, whether they leave, I'm supposed to be consistent with you. Whether it hurt, whether it don't hurt, I got to be consistent with you. I can't be looking at them. Uh, I, ju I just helped somebody. Because when you look at them, people, let me tell you something. People follow people more than they follow God. I just say somebody, somebody write that in the, somebody write that in the comments. People follow people more than they follow God. Y'all get up there and, and act like that man or woman is God. You got to put God first. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right, so I'm getting up off of here now. Whoo, you right. Rice, Noah, you right. Noah, rice, idolatry. Oh, my God. And that's what they, y'all, and I used to do it too. I'm, I'm about to. I was a big fan of some of the highest witches and warlocks in the industry. It hurt me when I had to expose them. It hurt me when I found out who they really were. I, I know y'all don't want to hear this because some of y'all like them too. There's only two kingdoms. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of the enemy. The kingdom of the enemy, he runs the world. You can't be, oh y'all ain't going to like me, I don't care. You can't be famous <laughs> unless the enemy says so. And I can prove it in scripture. God never made anybody famous. He made them great. Hallelujah. Read your Bible. Google it. He said, I'll make your name great. He never seemed famous. And hold on. I don't know if y'all understand what great means. You might have to die. You might have to go through some things. Y'all don't hear me up in here. Don't get me started again. I'd rather be great than famous. And I'm going to let y'all ride on that one. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. <laughs> I know I'm, I'll be off the chain. I know it. I know it. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll like soldiers for that is truly who we are. Walk like it. Talk like it. Act like it. Be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen.